welcome. It is time for the Houston fishing show. Right now I'm actually being a cheapskate and waiting for four o'clock. That's about three minutes away because the parking is gonna go from $16 down to $10 and I don't wanna pay the extra six bucks. So I'd rather wait just a little bit longer to get that after 4 p.m. rate. Weekdays after four, printing my receipt and we are off. Put that on the dash. You know, one of the things that I notice is I am glad that the bad weather is happening right now when I'm actually needing to be indoors. Uh, it's always like the, uh, the good weather hits whenever you're not able to go out there fishing. That's not the case for today, so that's kind of a, a, a good thing. Right. Familiar place. Really good to be back whenever you get to see all the fishing stuff. That's what see all the uh, anticipation is. Uh, coming here, getting to see some of the local companies, which is what I like to support. Uh, you get to see uh, some of the stuff that they're boasting. And then it's, I'm not going to say, well, actually, I can't say anything about ICAST because I've never done it. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to do it this year. Uh, but I would imagine this is like maybe the the B budget of ICAST uh, but a lot of local companies were out here last year and then we'll uh, try to make our way to a lot of these booths but right now I gotta go find ACK here we are I found it so check out the setup that we got going on right here. For those of you that are thinking about coming on the weekend, definitely come check us out there in the corner of the uh, Hall A in the George R. Brown. But uh, you got a few kayaks. We'll go ahead and get into some of that before I actually leave. We'll uh, see what we've got on the showroom floor and I'm gonna do my best to hurry up and publish this for you all to be able to see tomorrow. As I was walking around, I come across Texas Southern Lifestyle. This is something that I saw on Facebook, and now I'm here with the man himself who created it. So uh, go ahead and let us know a little bit about what you got going on. Yes, sir. I'm the owner of Texas Southern Lifestyle. It's Versace. We got Facebook and Instagram, and I started this in 2017, 18. I started sponsoring people, and people started making noise on Facebook and Instagram, putting posting a lot of pictures of trout, flounder, and red and really it just a lot of people from texas started supporting us and i started bringing out new brands and i will hope, i will hope this brand will be texas you know it's, it's like i say it's born and raised in texas it's farm bred so uh, i brought out the texas the texas logo with the colors and everything and uh it's just this is my first time at a 2019 fishing show and we're doing real good and uh, I just want to tell everybody thank you for supporting us. Take some lifestyle. There you go. So if you haven't made your way yet to the Houston Fishing Show, definitely stop by. What booth are y'all? Uh, 347. Booth 347. You can't miss them. When you walk up and down the aisles, be sure you're on the lookout for Texas Southern Lifestyle. It is a born and raised Texas company. I'm all about supporting local businesses, especially something like this right here. So be sure to check them out. That pretty much ends day one for me. This is day two of the Houston Fishing Show. I really appreciate you all tuning in and watching. Uh, I will be back tomorrow, which is going to be day number three, Friday, and then also Saturday and Sunday. Hope to see each and every one of you come out, show some love and support to a lot of the local businesses, and we'll pick right back up with uh, showcasing some of the other uh, brands that are going to be out here. Again, appreciate it. Until next time. Bye. to spend time at the Bugs booth, so let's go find out where Heath and his crew is. There they are right there, man. How's it going, Heath? Hey, fellas. Right. How are you hey, today? Up, Good to see you. Buddy. There's a lot of people that are going to be hey, glad Mark. to see hey, you. Hey, I met you at the fish. Hey, I'm Nick. coming to see you, Nick Mike Adams. Nice, Mike, nice to meet you, man. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, man? How are you? What's up, man? How are you? Yeah, Ruben. 
<laughs> hey, what's up, brother? What's up, man? How are you? Good How to see y'all. Y'all just get here, man. Chill. Yeah, we've been here for a little while. I was wondering okay. where y'all were. Uh, we were eating. We were eating. all looking for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Greg Toth, good to see Greg? you. Greg? Nice, nice to meet you, Greg. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, here at the Bugs booth, we've got Pete, and he's got this huge, massive, oversized, like, water trough. And you can kind of get a, an idea of what the bugs are going to actually be doing while they're underwater. Uh, that rabbit fur is absolutely amazing. Down here, you've got the curl tail. That's the blue crab. And then you've got uh, some new products, which are the bass jigs that he uses. And over here, he's kind of got a, a quick setup where it shows you all the different trailers that you can use on these bass lures. So for the freshwater guys that were always wanting these, uh, the last show, there was quite a few of y'all. And check that out. These are money. They're a little bit heavier with the weight and the weed guard has been beefed up as well on these. So I just know these would definitely kill it. And I'm pretty sure the reds would still get them as well. But uh, yeah, phenomenal products right here here we are original bass jig and then uh, just another weight class so they come in quarter ounce the three eighths ounce and a half ounce so if y'all are able to make it out and you can come and just see the assortment of colors that he's got the the deals that he's giving as well and then over here are the salt water uh, that he has these right here is what turned me on to bugs and I managed to catch I want to say it was like a 26 inch redfish off of this tiny little thing and what prompted me to throw this was I keyed in on shrimp being out there in the water uh, as we were paddling uh, through the marsh and casting alongside the bank and here it is right here that thing uh, is amazing I haven't had a chance to throw it this year because I haven't seen the shrimp yet but uh, as soon as they start coming out this is what I'm gonna be throwing because it definitely works and then uh, let's see what else does he have over here he's got an assortment of everything these are some new lures that he partnered up with another guy who's uh, in the lures and he ties the trailers he's got trebles and then the uh, single point hooks right there so He's got a little bit of everything. Uh, highly recommend you all come down if you have a chance. He's going to be here Saturday and then also Sunday. I will be at the ACK booth on Saturday, but I will be here for a short period of time on Sunday. So looking forward to seeing y'all. We're here at the Sightcast booth, 441. I'm with uh, Steven. Hey, just tell us a little bit about what you've got going on here. So yeah, we, me and my brother Alan here, we just did, uh, we just opened up this company, SightcastFishing.com, and uh, we, we do a lot of saltwater flies, targeting redfish, speckled trout, and uh, you know, me and my brother here have been doing this for since we were in our teens, so yeah, we noticed uh, a lot of a lot of flies out there were or Florida oriented, so we just did something for Texas, right? So we grew up in Texas, so we started tying Texas flies. And uh, so we got a bunch of flies here, we got a bunch of apparel. We're just trying to build like a saltwater fly fishing brand. Awesome. So, How long have y'all been in the business? So we started about three years ago. And um, you know, we, but we've been we've been tying and fishing for over 20 years, but we just kind of last three years we put it all together and did all the paperwork, got it started. So, so y'all y'all are approaching it. Yeah. You're actually both fishermen that yeah. are using your product and basically showing that it works. So That's right. I see all this in the background. Every single fly you see in that is is one that me or him has tied. And so we just kind of took a hobby to the next level, you know, doing what we love and love to share it with everybody else build a saltwater fly fishing brand bring it to texas where uh where it needs to be loved and appreciated right because yeah. there ain't too many around these parts so. there y'all go folks uh, if you want to support another local texas company sightcast come check them out booth 441 houston fishing show you still have time left tomorrow saturday and then sunday they're going to be here come out spend some of your money take a look at the flies that they've got it's going to be something that you don't want to miss especially for you fly fishermen this is right up your alley and then for everybody else if you love sight casting to reds 
the way we do on the channel, this is something that you might want to take up. We're now at booth 324 with my boy Rex, uh, the Action Hat booth. Hey guys, so we're out here at uh, the User Fishing Show 2019, and basically we're showing people all the different options you have for filming with a GoPro. So most people, when they're fishing and filming, they're using the chesty mount or the head thong. <laughs> now, if the head thong and the chesty mount isn't for you, we've got a little slicker option, which is the action hat. Now, the action hat here, in the middle of a, of a fight, you could just pop it on one-handed. You can't really do that with the chesty or the head thong, right? So let me show you the magic of the action hat. It's this frame. So the frame here floats floats your, your GoPro. So if you accidentally drop it into water, you just reach down, pick it back up. Um, you've also got the DIY kit. So if you're picky about your hats or you like a certain style, so you've got a DIY action hat kit that you can put in any hat you want. This is another born and raised Texas company come out, see Rex at his booth and support another local guy. That is gonna do it for day number two. Houston Fishing Show is in the books, or actually, let me rephrase that. It is day number two for me, but day number three for the fishing show. I'll be here tomorrow on Saturday it's going to be, I think, doors open at 10 a.m. So if you haven't had a chance to come down and purchase everything fishing, I definitely recommend you come. And while you're at it, if you don't mind stopping by, just so that I can meet you, shake your hand, I'd really love to do that. Day three of the fishing show. Let's do this, Houston. Today it's going to be all about ACK and we are, what, Saturday. You've got one more day to get right back out here and take advantage of all the deals that they've got going on. I'm here with the manager of ACK Bissonette and Rico, what kind of deals can these guys get? So we're running a show special. Uh, what we're doing here is 10% off all kayaks. If you purchase your boat here at the show, you're also going to get another $50 off that price. And all your accessories are going to be 15% off. I, I noticed that y'all got rods back there and then you've got some reels. Are y'all doing any specials? Are they on discount or anything like that? So all our reels are 15% off. And we're also running a special on Daiwa. Daiwa, buy any Daiwa reel and you're getting a free flavor rod. And I mean, those things have been flying out of the show. Awesome. We can't keep them in stock. We keep bringing them in from the store. Awesome. So that's good to know. Again, y'all have another day tomorrow, Sunday. It's going to be the last chance for you to possibly come down, get over here, enjoy some of these deals. What kind of boats do y'all got here? Well, here at the show, we brought in Feel Free. We brought in uh, Ocean Kayak, Old Town Wilderness, Bonafide. And, of course, we carry everything else you can think of in the stores. Obi, Native, uh, Blue Sky. So we've got all kinds of stuff. And the, and the deals are on any any brand any boat awesome uh another thing that i'm curious about because a lot of you that have already came to the show have asked do we have to purchase the boat fully right now uh it is i mean i've heard that question over and over again do they have to purchase it fully or is it so a you can come in here and actually just put a deposit down and that's going to lock in the discount and the 50 dollars off so how, how long does that lock it in for? We'll work with you. We'll okay. work with you. I mean, we usually try to get them out within a month or two, but I mean, we have some customers sometimes that they come in and they're making slow payments on it, and we'll work with them. So Awesome. That's, that's great to know. Rico, yep. thanks, brother. I really appreciate you the taking the time to go over this. Everybody, if you haven't been down to the Houston Fishing Show, come show some love to everyone that's here especially to the Texas, uh, like, what do you call it, lure companies, the, everything that is Texas. Support the local community. That's what it's all about. That's going to do it for the 2019 Fishing Show, everyone. Thank you so much to all the patrons that came out. It was a pleasure. All the subscribers. <laughs> I just, I had a blast. It's so flattering to be able to meet each and every one of y'all. And uh, this is it. We're calling it quits for the 2019 Houston Fishing Show. Till next time, tight lines.